Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 738. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 736 to 739, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, in this video, we're going to do two things. We're going to see how to do the PMT function, including a balloon payment, and we're going to see how to use Goal Seek. Goal Seek is absolutely amazing. If you've never seen Goal Seek, it's like the reverse of what we normally do with formulas. Before we see Goal Seek, though, let's calculate our monthly payment. We have a house price of 350. 15% down is required. So let's go ahead and calculate that. We need to figure out what the loan amount is before we can calculate our loan payment. So equals house price times 15%. So that's the amount down. So we have to take that cash and give it uh, down. Now the remaining amount will be our loan amount this minus that and there definitely could be other uh, charges that come out of your loan amount also but uh, I have other videos for that our main point is to get down to this PMT and then uh, goal seek alright so oh but there's an amount due in 25 years so that's a balloon payment It means we're gonna borrow this month much and then every month we pay a certain amount but at the very end we're gonna pay a lump sum of 50 thousand. The annual rate is uh, 4.5. Our monthly rate, we're going to have to calculate that from our APR or annual rate. I'm just going to go that cell divided by 12. Now normally you don't type numbers into formulas, but this is a um, monthly payment calculator, so that number is never going to change, so you can put it right into the formula. Uh, total years, we need months before we can calculate our uh, PMT. So years times month, that'll give us our total payments, number of payments. All right, now the PMT function. Now this is a finance function, and I have lots of videos on finance, but the basics of finance functions are they understand cash flow, right? So if this money is going to be coming out of your wallet each month. It's going to be a negative. So don't be surprised when we calculate our answer, it's going to show up as, as a negative. Now the rate, it's always our period rate. If we're doing monthly PMTs, then that rate better be monthly, comma, NPER. Again, if this is a monthly payment, the total number of periods better be months. So we got that one there. Present value, that is our loan amount. And now we need to think about cash flows. When you go to the bank and say, can I borrow some money? They give it to you, right? So it's actually a positive into your pocket, even though you immediately turn around and give it to someone else. So it's positive, comma, future value. That amount actually should be a negative there. This is going to come out of your pocket. So since I didn't put it as a negative there, I'm going to say negative, right? That balloon payment is coming out of your pocket. And the final argument type is for an end annuity, which just means you pay at the end of the month, which almost all loan contracts are. So the default is end, so we can just leave it out. Close parentheses, and there's our loan amount. And it is negative, which means that's how much comes out of our wallet each month for paying off this loan. Now, goal seek. Now, here's the deal about goal seek. That's a formula. And this formula uses formula inputs. And what we want to, we, what we want to uh, determine here is we want to say, hey, formula, I want you to be minus $2,000. Can you please tell me what? the house price should be. Now the way Goal Seek works is your formula has to be using some formula input and normally, now for example watch this, I'm going to change this to 375. Right? And so no that's not 2,000 so I changed it to 400,000. I'm uh, doing just some guessing trying to um, zero in on this. But Goal Seek can do it automatic. Goal Seek says, hey, you say, hey, formula, I want you to evaluate to minus $2,000 by changing some formula input. Now, when I'm looking through this, I see the blue cell and the green cell and all of these, but it doesn't look like this formula is looking at that 400000 Oh, well, that's not quite true because the purple one, C4 right there, that, if we come up here, that's using this and this. So 
indirectly it's looking at it. So the criteria is formula, it's using cell references, and one of the inputs is what you want to change. So this is a reverse, right? Because you saw just a moment ago, we change, 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 and the formula changes. But here, goal seeks, we're going to say, hey, I want you to come to this, and the goal seek will change that number. All right, so you have the, the cell highlighted. Data, data tools, what if analysis over here on the side, and finally, goal seek. I'm going to do the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions, Alt-T-G for Tools menu and older versions, Goal Seek. And there's three um, text boxes that you need to enter. Set Cell, that is always the formula. And by the way, I have some notes down in the sheet if you download it. Set Cell is always the formula. Value is always something you type in. Notice there's no little collapsible text box, so you have to type in minus 2,000. By changing cell, that is the formula input. And you just say formula, amount, formula input, and it will change it. Click OK. And now I'm going to click OK to keep this, right? You can always undo it. There it is. It gets exactly, it iterates back and forth and zeroes in on the answer by changing that right there. So that means I can afford a house of 442. Four, five, five. All right, goal seek. A little bit about um, buying a house finance in the PMT function. We'll see you next video.